Eti fwa ni abuja fwa ya mama kwa ba wansi gine ba ifili kesi iso e ye pena sivi. Na sabra minuka si mahama is not giving up the fight. If you thought for a minute, sir, you wrote 2021. So the whole election thing and the petition thing e ye dead news and mahama is giving up. Obwa. Mahama is never giving up. Mahama is fighting till at the end of the day, according to him, what rightfully belongs to him will come back to him and the right thing will be done. Because it needs to work and do this to save Ghana, our democracy and our history and clear setting mess and things are our hope throughout many years happening each and every time be election. This is the main reason why Mahama sees he's doing this. See, and he has taken the fight to another level. What's your headline? I was screen. I said, Mahama sues Jan Mensa with new directives. Mahama. Beginning, you know, December more 28th, more no, and a core court issue the electoral commission a and a beginning of January, you no, know, can say, uh, in some of the courts, so Supreme Court in him, you no, know, errors be will to file a motion to correct those mistakes and our errors. They granted the motion, I'm a quiet. See, see, and my master could sue the mensa who happens to be the EC chairperson, say. On admit it's a December seventh election results not the buy you know, which he declared in December 9th. You no, know, on December 9th. You know. All of these things are eh, errors. And oh uh, yeah, Madame Jemensa in the Supreme Court to admit to that fate, admit to the mistakes, admit the election results that she said they were all bogus, they were lies, they were errors. It is for this is how far this has come. Yeah, but more, more details into that. When you say I say we don't just talk, 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 talk. I'll put the um the, the whole petition, the whole petition, maybe two screens, you know. So now we move. See, at the end of the day, you know, you can flow along with me. Now, be be able to be and you know it's okay. Uh, your bass here, we don't just talk, we talk from evidence. And Sana, your best ass here, crowd. I want to put the petition, but some of my snippets of the 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 the, 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 the petition on the screen. Petition na mama e dia koma e ye court no i want to i want to put the petition on this so that is the petition you are seeing on the screen say so for this is how far things go you be reading in a more details into how all of this thing is even happening in the first place but let's start off with this particular hot one e ye mahama in sema odia ko tuja e wo e the supreme court in ima this time around is not directed to the electoral commission in general as a election body or as an electoral body but is directed to the woman herself the mighty woman herself, that is Madame Jen Mensa. Mahama wants this woman to come out and admit to the mistake, the errors, and the flaws she made during the December 9th declaration of the results. And therefore, let me start off by explaining more into details and uh, on why Mahama is suggesting this. According to the NDC flag bearer at Ujina in the 2020 election, you know, motion of Fale in the Supreme Court. This particular motion now are filing the Supreme Court. So, or actually, and as oh, beside the EC chairperson say, on admit to say, during the declaration of results, she made errors. And I say, in some there were mistakes, errors, I mean, errors, name to change. I mean, my layman, and I say, or person, Madame Germans, and admit said, there were very many mistakes in her declaration. The facts relate to. Madam James and declaration. And Mahama also wants the EC chairperson to admit say she did not declare the results on December 7th, as she said. But she rather did declare the results on December 9th, which she broadcast on live radio, on live TV, and also various online platforms. At the same time, too, or per se, a year uh court no also or per se EC Jemensa and admit say she has since not made any other declaration of the results which means results of a december 9th ah, a wrong results according to john dramani mahama full of errors full of mistakes no we in one sound best son i know that say my mistakes more fine chemi i could for do a 50 plus one into now say because you know men can't trust so now it's not being what i said so this is exactly what mahama was still now or see 
he, he further wants the EC chairperson, that's Madame Jemensa, to admit again, say, the figures in the percentages are or announced here during the declaration of the results, or more call it, you know, meaning the bow, you know, bro, 100%. Because Ghana, yeah, percentage, you could school, yeah, percentage, I even say percentage, you know, at the end of the day, percentage, you know, a boom, a hundred percent. But this is the shocking part. Percentage, you know, boom, you know, for. Percentage is a chair with school say a hundred percent. No, you did figure seeing now boom a quiet hundred point three percent instead of hundred percent. Into my hammer, person easy on admit to say results no declare a cunning in a boom percentage is that a hundred point three percent three percent. If you infer if you infer and a final person easy chair person on admit to say uh the subsequent correction of correction of results in statements are easy no uh issued by the EC. Uh, is different from what the camp candidates obtained or they captured in the summary of results sheets which were published by the east which means at the end of the day you know mistakes are madame jenmensa or admit so oh yeah mistakes are correcting her yeah you see i see i'm buying you know on man for where did those results and now the the details on um, various political parties they be they didn't do that they updated it themselves they didn't even update it on their website they did not even update it and give the sheet which was needed to be given to these various political parties which is a pink sheet or so into without further ado you know uh cc you know, we will be putting uh on the screens a uh, year in summer john dramani mahama the most you know so that yeah uh one more my bro for free move it to me a flow me it may read it as always you no know, now my two my boys i'm breaking it down in three so that at the end of the day you can also flow with me and know where we are going so as you can see on the scores in the in the superior courts in the superior courts of the judicature in the supreme court of justice accra ad uh, 2020 into usha has say yeah or say as it is for you can see on the screens usha has or say uh amended presidential election petition presidential election held on december 7 2020 john dramani mahama on a petition and to share baby a case that you are a hey baby i would follow case and any petition to john dramani mahama on a or petition and an electoral commission first respondent another dog who for the second respondent it's you for me now and a dog clear sepinas tv aha in your way tv kvinas tv now she clear good it's usha has also request to admit facts this is page one of four. In Tin maybe D actual this time around, I mean Cheche more profum uh I'll break it down. So take notice that the petitioner in this action requires first respondent to admit for the purposes of this action only the several facts respectively here here under specified, and first respondent is hereby required within three days from the service of this request to admit the said facts saving in this action all just exceptions to the admissibility of such facts as evidence in this action the facts the facts the admission of which is required are one the purported declaration of the presidential results of the 7th december 2020 by madame jemensa uh the chairperson the first respondent on 9 december was broadcast live on tv and other electronic media Two, the exhibit A attached to the petition herein is the video and audio recording of the purported declaration in respect uh, of the presidential results on seventh, uh, the presidential results of seventh December twenty twenty made by Miss Edukwe Mensa, which means or more part is a video on Sakan Air party say she declared the results on December seventh twenty twenty, but the rule date to declare results was two days after the election, which was December. 9th not december 7th or per se electoral commission will admit to say she did not declare the results on december 7th of this as they've done a video saying he said we declare the results on december 7th they be or party say you declare the results on december 9th don't come and lie to ghanis three that miss jemensa the chairperson of the first the chairperson of first respondent has made no other purported declaration in respect of the presidential results of 7th uh, the 7 December 2020, which means uh, I'll make any declaration, say, or make, or make any results on 7 uh, December. Rather, she made it on 9. 
that while making the purported declaration uh, of the presidential election results on December 7th, Ms. Jen Mensah, the chairperson, stated that the total number of valid vote cast was 30,434,574, representing 79% of the total registered voters. Hmm. Which means at the end of the day, no patches say results you did you did in a boom, you know, percentage near seventy-nine percent. Uh huh. Which means one bought hundred percent total no but seventy-nine percent would be female. How can you leave some of the results and declare the presidency? Five, that while making the purported declaration of the presidential elections uh of 7th December 2020, rather which she made on 9th December 20 and the medical child says Madam Mesa Jemesa Eka says she made the declaration on 7th December, but in reality she did it on the 9th. That is what this particular petition is saying. It was whilst making the purported declaration of the presidential election, Madame Jemensa uh, and MPP stated that the second responder MPP obtained 6.7 million votes, uh, representing 51% of the total vote cast. Hmm. 51.5% of the total vote cast. Six. Miss Jemensa, that Miss Jemensa, the chairperson of the first responder, also stated in the letter in the purported declaration. Of 9 December 2020, that currently the election results we have declared exclude that of Tichiman South constituency. Seven, that Miss Jemensa, the chairperson of first, gave a figure of 128,018 as the voter population of Tichiman constituency. Eight, that the voter population of Tichiman constituency to the total valid votes of 30 million valid votes announced by Madame Jemensa. And basically, our party said, or person Madame Jemensa, our admitted said, or boy results on fat Tichiman account, or sans support results, no, or can say we chat Tichiman if you, or sans support results, or can say Tichiman, or mu total voter, or mu wa a in 128,013. Good. And now, five and was, or see, uh, it's quite a lot, but you read everything. Uh huh. It's quite a lot. Also five. Also the first respondent votes as announced by Madame Jemensa, the chairperson, was declared on December 7th, uh, 9, 2020. December 9th, 2020, uh, at six million seven hundred thirty thousand and fourteen, amount to forty nine point six two percent of thirteen uh, million five hundred sixty two percent. Ten. That the percentage of the value votes cast standing to the names of each presidential candidate as announced by Madame Jemensa, the first respondent on 9 December, summed up to the yield of 100.3 percent. Be the kind of the main reason, yeah. Say, you didn't now percentage now boom, Madame Jemensa, or didn't now boom, you know, in a quite 100.3 percent. No, but say that Miss Madame Jemensa, the chairperson, he, uh, the chairperson. Okay, okay. I see that Miss this that Miss Jemens, the chairperson, uh, had purported declaration in a purported declaration on 9 December stated that the results from Techiman South were not yet available. Twelve that Miss Jemens, in a purported declaration, uh, stated even if all the 128,000 of the Techiman coins were added to the vote standing to the name of the petitioner, that will not change the results. Uh, 13. That Miss Madame Jemensa, the chairperson of the first respondent, refused to accept letter as it be written by NDC, which the NDC through its authority, author, authorized and accredited agents raised concern and notified her of, uh, of material errors in a collision of the results on December 7th. That the purported correction of the figures uh, declaration by Miss Jemensa, the chairperson of the first respondent, was by virtue of unassigned press release. And also, and also, the purported correction issued uh, in an issued in an assigned press release of first respondents on 10 December stated the total valid votes was cast. The total valid votes cast was 30 million 119,460. That the purported correction of 10th December 2020 changed the number of votes claimed to have obtained by the other presidential candidate hmm, on December 9th that in respect to the purported correction and subsequent correction of the corrections Miss Miss Jemensa made he uh, she has never sought to confer uh, with the other agents of the candidate me party said or changing results and all your correction and can't share any of the presidential candidates and also their political parties respectively that the sum total of valuables attributed to each candidate in the purported corrections on 10 December are different from the sum of valid votes that were recorded on the summary sheets from 10 published on first uh, published by first respondent dated in Accra this 18th day of January 2021 the registrar the Supreme Court Accra will share the copy for each service above respondent justice Aminovo 
and a lawyer, sir, or more a fight, sir, man. Therefore, yeah, there are two screens, so a really be a man, sir, be a, you can see everything clear and loud. It's the therefore, be a, you don't know, Mahama is not giving up, and he is saying, sir, at the end of the day, the right thing needs to be done. We will give you more updates uh, as to this particular election fight, be a beko and what will happen thereafter uh in regards to this particular case uh, we are hoping so at the end of the day peace should prevail and whatever happens ghana fests